four-year-old male who approximately three weeks ago began having horizontal binocular diplopia, uh, which was gradually worsening and therefore came for uh, evaluation of this. Uh, okay, sir, we're going to have you look straight ahead. As you will notice here, the, uh, the patient does have an exotropia. Uh, and in doing a cover test, keep looking straight ahead, right at our red dot here. And you'll see, look straight ahead at the red dot. Okay. Straight ahead at the red dot. So an alternating exotropia. Okay, again, follow, <coughs> follow the red dot here everywhere it goes, just without holding your head steady. Okay, you'll notice that as we move across, the right eye will not go past the midline, but the left eye follows, and here is moving across again. The left eye goes slightly past the midline, but will not adduct completely. This is a very typical internuclear ophthalmoplegia. You'll also notice as we move out that the abducting eye, or the eye turning out, will occasionally show some abduction nystagmus. Follow the red dot everywhere it goes. You see a few beats of abduction nystagmus. Follow the red dot. Vertical movements are grossly normal, uh, other than the fact that the, without full A deduction, he's unable to uh, get the eyes into all vertical positions. Okay. Now we're going to have you look back and forth, look right at my finger, and now at the red dot, the finger and the red dot. You'll notice as he looks back and forth that there is a lag of adduction. Look at the finger, now at the red dot, finger, red dot, finger. You'll notice as we do that 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 left eye lags over and the right eye goes over quickly but the left eye lags over slowly. Look at the red dot, now at the finger, red dot, and finger, red dot, right here, look at the finger, red dot, and finger. Very good. Once again, following the red dot, you'll notice the lack of adduction far past the midline with either eye. Very good. We'll watch as he converges. Look right at the red dot again. Okay. As best you can, look right at the red dot. Try to bring it in and focus on that red dot. So he gets some element of convergence there. Look right at the red dot. You can see he's able to slightly bring it in. Start again here. Focus as best you can on the red dot. There you see every so often he can momentarily gain or close to gain fusion. The reason for that being that the convergence mechanisms are not damaged as much as the uh, horizontal gaze mechanisms, which is from the intranuclear ophthalmoplegia.